the Californios were the first great cattle ranchers of the West. Ships from distant countries would anchor at the California ports like San Diego to trade for the cattle hides and tallow. And families like the Estadios would board the ships to shop and buy goods from all around the world. What times we had. Every week we would go to La Playa and board the merchant ships. Their cargoes included silks and rebosos. When I was a young girl, it was the reign of posterity and plenty. Doña Maria Victoria Dominguez de Estudio. The years between 1821 and 1846 became known as the golden age of the Californios. There was plenty of time for fiestas and lively dancing. There were dances called fandangos, held on all possible occasions. The men congregated on horseback, and the ladies sat inside the dance pavilion. Then the man dismounted from his horse and selected a dance partner. When the music stopped, the lady went back to her seat, and, you know, the man got back on his horse. Don Antonio Coronel. As the women excel in dancing, so the men excel in horsemanship. They are by far the most superior horsemen I ever saw. Thomas Darnall. California men prided themselves so much on their remarkable horsemanship, they even played games while riding horses. There was a game called Carrera del Gallo. It was played on horseback. The live rooster was buried in the sand up to his neck. Then the riders came at full speed, leaning from the saddle, to snatch up the rooster. This required great agility. The rooster would often duck his head, so it was difficult to grab it at full gallop. Don Antonio Coronel. More and more foreigners began arriving in California, and their numbers threatened to demolish the Californios. Some of these new arrivals were the American mountain men, who were the first to trek overland to reach California from the United States. These American trappers endured incredible hardships as they searched through the wilderness for beaver pelts. I go for days without eating, and I'm pretty well satisfied if I can gather a few roots, a few snails, or much better, a piece of horse flesh or fine roasted dog. Jedediah Smith. As more Americans followed the mountain men into California, some Californios welcomed the new arrivals. The foreigners are about to overrun us, of which I am very glad, for the country needs immigration in order to make progress. Senor de la Guerra. But other Californios became suspicious that the Americans would try to take control of the entire territory. They're a gang of North American adventurers with the blackest treason that the genius of evil could invent, Pio Pico. Pio Pico's suspicions proved to be well-founded. In 1846, the United States declared war on Mexico over the right to own California. Soon, the war came to San Diego. During the time of the Mexican-American War, the women and children were collected within the strong walls of the Estadio House for greater safety in the event of battle. Judge Benjamin Hayes. At first, it seemed the Californians had the better chance at victory. The California movement possesses the element of temporary success. The Californians are a hardy race and will undergo any amount of fatigue as long as they are well mounted. Joseph Warren Revere. The Californians fought bravely, but they were quickly overpowered by the larger numbers of American troops. 